Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Manalo. I am a certified Ascension coach for Twin Flames Universe, and I'm so excited and happy to be here with you all today. We're just gonna do um, probably about a 15 to 20 minute uh, live session with you all in the open forum. Welcome everybody, come on in. Um, and when I was feeling into what, uh, what God wanted me to share with you all today, um, I just kept getting the sense that we need to do some inner work maybe with some Oracle cards. Hi, Angela. Um, and I wanted to just demonstrate um, how I do inner work with Oracle cards. This is um, Oracle cards are, if you um, are subscribed to Twin Flame Ascension School, you see Jeff and Shalia using Oracle cards all the time in classes to help with inner work. So I just wanted to, you know, it's nice. It's a nice Sunday where I am. I'm in the United States. And uh, it's a little bit rainy out today, so seems like a good time to just break out the inner, uh, break out the oracle cards and do some inner work. Yay! Hi, Denisa. Um, again, I'm Brianna Manello. I'm a certified Ascension coach for Twin Flames Universe, as well as the director of community development. Hi, Alden. Hi, everybody. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy to be here with you all today. So one of the first things that I like to do before I do inner work is I actually like to take either Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover or A Course in Miracles, or, you know, really any book. You can use any book that you love. Um, if you don't have this book yet, this is Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. It is the only book you need on Twin Flames. It's so thorough. It's so complete. And it's also really easy to read and really enjoyable to read. It has everything you could possibly need for your Twin Flame journey. You can get this on Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks for Kindle. Um, and it's $17.99 if you want the hard copy. This is my hard copy, and I have my Jeff and Shalia signatures from when I saw them in New York. Mwah. So I love this book. Um, this is always in my bed or next to my bed with me, um, and I always like to break it out when I do inner work. So, look <laughs> at all the reacts. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. So um, last night when I sat down to do my inner work for the evening, um, I really just felt called to just uh, grab this book and just open up to it. And um, this is something that if you're new to Twin Flame Ascension School or you're new to the Twin Flame journey, or even if you're not, maybe you feel a little stuck or stagnant in your inner work, highly recommend just take this book out or really any book and just say, okay, God, speak to me through this book. Or, you know, I choose to receive the message I need right now through this book. So let's begin this is for everybody watching and the community right now. What do we need to hear right now? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, I turned to chapter five, the mirror exercise. So if you aren't familiar, uh, the mirror exercise is the only tool you need to manifest permanent harmonious union with your twin flame. I think right now in the community, we have 11 harmonious union couples and um, probably at least a dozen more couples in union working towards physical harmonious union, as well as you know all the students who are actively pursuing their twin flame on their twin flame journey, not in union. Um, but yeah, this um, the mirror exercise is the only tool you need to um, create your physical harmonious union, to manifest your physical harmonious union. So I turn to page 85 of chapter five. And the paragraph that I feel called to read is, the mirror exercise works because your external life is always a reflection of all levels of your consciousness, which is created by the core choices inside your mind. Oh, that sentence is so juicy. I have to read it again because it's so good. <laughs> the mirror exercise works because your external life is always a reflection of all levels of your consciousness which is created by the core choices inside your mind. I wanna keep reading, but I also wanna just take a moment to really absorb that. The mirror exercise works, we'll, we'll break it down. The mirror exercise works because your external life, so everything around you on the outside, your house, your job, your relationships with your mother, brother, sister, everything that is outside of you, is always a reflection of all levels of your consciousness, your consciousness being inside. Your consciousness is created, oh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Your external life is always a reflection of all levels of your consciousness, which is created by the core choices inside 
your mind. So the core choices that you are making right now, that is what creates everything. So this um, ascension journey is really truly one that works from the inside out. And you can use everything around you as a mirror to show you what's really going on internally. Oh, so juicy. I love it. What you're choosing on the inside of yourself is what is being created on the outside of yourself. That's the result and the truth of the law of attraction. As within, so without. These annoyances or upsets are annoyances or upsets inside of you. You're automatically creating on the outside, which is being reflected back to you from inside yourself. Ugh, that's like a single paragraph in this book, and it's so flippin' juicy. Like, <laughs> I swear, I could just read this book forever and ever and never get sick of it because it's so juicy. It's so insightful. Oh, man, what a perfect start for our fun and easy and loving inner work with Oracle Cards. Book is simply amazing. Yes, it is, Denisa, for anyone who hasn't. Hi, Madhu. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Lorencio. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm feeling a lot of attraction in my life right now. I'm feeling a lot of love uh, from the universe, from God, like through, um, like being romanced lately. So this is the deck that I want to use today, the Romance Angels Oracle Cards deck. And let's do some inner work, shall we? So... Just feeling into the community right now, feeling into how we're all feeling. I know for myself personally, um, I personally have felt a lot of like new, fresh energy, like new union energy with God. And my um, the way that I have been like loved by God lately is I've been um, calling in God as my boyfriend. So I've been imagining going on dates with God. I've been imagining like sitting in the car holding hands with God. I've been imagining like I went shopping yesterday and I let God buy me this really amazing, beautiful purse. I don't have it here. I would show you because I love it so much. I'm so proud of it. I want to show you. <laughs> so, but yeah, like that's and because that's really the truth is it's only ever you and God. It's only ever you in the universe. It's only ever you and source, whatever you want to call it. Um, giving and receiving love to each other. And that's it. So that's that's what I personally have been going through. Um, I think I think this might be a theme, you know, throughout uh, everybody's consciousness because, you know, we're all one in the community. So that's that's where I'm at. But let me pull some cards and let's see. Let's see what we got, what we're working on today. So fun, so juicy. All right. Honeymoon. Ooh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the honeymoon in my life, in my in my um, world. Yeah, and it's it's safe to enjoy. It's safe to enjoy God. You don't have to work to be with God. You don't have to earn it to be with God. You can truly just relax into it and just receive. I know for myself as a divine feminine, this is huge for me is just receiving God, just allowing God to just completely infiltrate my life and move into every area of my life and have total surrender. So it's safe to enjoy the honeymoon with God. It's safe to enjoy the honeymoon within. Beautiful. I don't know. If anybody has any questions or comments. Um, okay, I see Laura asked, hey, what is the mirror exercise? So Laura, the mirror exercise is the only tool you need um, to, to manifest physical harmonious union, to manifest harmonious union with your true twin flame. It is four steps. And I actually, I have a YouTube series called Mastering the Mirror Exercise that goes through all four steps in detail um, on YouTube. You can search, my channel is Sacred Twin Flame Union, Mastering the Mirror Exercise, and you can watch that. Um, but I also highly, highly recommend if you are serious about your twin flame journey, this is the only book you need. This book like accelerated my path so much more quickly as well as joining Twin Flame Ascension School. But um, if you haven't joined Twin Flame Ascension School yet, you're not sure where to start, I highly recommend this book is perfect for beginners. Um, chapter five explains the mirror exercise in depth. It's four steps. Step one, identify your upset. Step two, um, switch all the nouns to pronouns to point to yourself. So instead of, I'm upset my twin is running away from me, that would be, I'm upset because I'm running away from me. 
because remember everything is a mirror to your internal consciousness so it's you hurting yourself step three you ask yourself is this true yes this is where you take ownership and it's always true because if it wasn't true it wouldn't be bothering you wouldn't be upsetting you and then step four da -da -da, the best step of all love yourself or love the part of you that is causing the upset until you feel peace relief and completion within and that's it that's that's it baby that's the mirror exercise um, it's explained in detail in chapter five in this book highly highly recommend i believe denisa linked this book earlier in the comments so lara if you want to scroll up um yeah you can get it right there thank you denisa okay so we just got our first card. Our first card was honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Enjoy being romanced by God, being loved by God. And let God be your boyfriend. Let God be your girlfriend. Let God take you out. Mm. Mm. So nice. <laughs> okay. Let's pull another card. Oh. It's another, it's another sappy one. Uh, romantic feelings. Let's see if I can see this. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Oof, look at that. Look at that attraction. <laughs> yeah, romantic feelings. When I feel into this, uh, I just immediately feel like it's safe to feel your feelings. Your feelings will never betray you. That was um, a meme that uh, was posted on the Twin Flames Universe uh, page recently. Um, if you haven't followed that yet, I highly recommend following that. We have gorgeous memes that come out every day that are so beautiful with Jeff and Shalia quotes. Yeah, it's safe to feel your feelings because how you feel your feelings is how you truly connect with yourself and ultimately connect with God and ultimately connect with your twin flame. So if you're numbed out to your feelings at all in any way, um, you're numbed out to that connection and that's very uncomfortable. So it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel feelings and be aware of them, acknowledge them, notice them, um, and explore them. Like this is really what inner work is all about is just giving yourself space to really feel your feelings and, and really love yourself there. That's really truly what loving yourself is, is giving yourself space and time and everything that you need, giving yourself everything you need to truly feel the love of God. Yay, romantic feelings. Beautiful. Hi, Christina. Everybody coming on in for some Sunday inner work. <laughs> yeah, and just like this is, um, it, notice that like this inner work is really easy. It's really fun. It's really just, it's really gentle too. You know, and this is why I, I personally love Oracle cards. And I didn't use Oracle cards for inner work until I, um, uh, invested in Twin Flame Ascension School, and I truly saw how Jeff and Shalia use the cards to really love themselves and to really bring themselves to the truth every time. Um, because the inner card, yeah, the Oracle cards are they're quick and they're pretty and they're fast, and they show you exactly what you um, are hoping to work through when you use them. So, yeah, I have um, a whole I have a whole bunch of oracle cards over there, but um, I have the romance angels today and two other decks if we if we want to use other decks. So, okay, another card. Oh, I love all these cards. They're so sweet. The next card is you deserve love. You are lovable. I want this to like focus. It's kind of yellow in here. I'm sorry. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah. Nothing can take you away from your twin flame. Nothing can take you away from God. Nothing can take you away from you. It's safe to relax into that. I can personally feel for myself in this card, like how I, like when I first saw this, you know, you probably even saw it too. Like I had this moment of like recoil. Like I was like, oh my God, that's too sweet for me. That's too nice for me. You know, like I was expecting it to hurt. I was expecting abuse. Um, and inner work is not hurtful. It's not abusive. It's very safe. It's very loving. It's very gentle. And it's safe to explore everything that's here for you. You know, like right now, like I have a feeling coming up that this card is wrong and I don't actually deserve love. So I'm just going to take a moment and just mirror exercise this. You know, what does this part of me really need to feel loved? I just went straight to step four because I, I was able to get straight to the feeling. Mm. 
Yeah, so I, I can see this younger part of myself just needing validation, just needing reassurance, needing eye contact. You know, like I didn't get a lot of eye contact when I was young. You know, my, my parents loved me as best they could, you know, but, you know, <clears throat> they weren't they they weren't God. You know, they can't love me like God can. So I just choose to give all of God to me right now. I choose to feel looked at and admired and appreciated and validated and loved. Because I am worthy of that. Mm. Ooh. Yay, it feels so good. Yeah. So I can take a moment and just look at this card again and feel into whether I'm still upset. And I'm not. Because all I see is the truth now. The truth that I do deserve love. And God loves me no matter what. Yay. Oh, heart react. Okay, let's do a few more. Oh, we're already like 15 minutes in. Time flies when you're doing inner work and having fun. Let's do maybe one more. Let's, let's do one more from this deck. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this is a perfect example of um, like Jeff and Shalia's uh, teachings in Twin Flame Ascension School is like your Twin Flame journey is not just about you and your Twin Flame. It's about you loving yourself in all areas of your life, loving yourself through your finances, loving yourself through your career, loving yourself through everything. And that's why like there's over like 300 something hours of classes I'm sorry I forget I know like total between Twin Flame Ascension School and like purpose class I know it's like 600 plus hours but um, because you can take that concept of loving yourself and you can apply it to every single little area of your life like right now I'm loving myself like through cleaning which I've never actually like done before like the amount of cleaning that I have done this past month like I've never clean so much in my life, but it's because I'm really learning how to love myself through that. And you may look at that and you may think cleaning, like what does that have to do with my twin flame journey? But it has everything to do with your twin flame journey. Like if I don't live in a clean home, like I can't feel good. I can't feel supported. I can't really truly feel loved. So like that's just one small area of my life that I'm healing right now that I'm really loving myself in, really loving myself through. And so whatever this card means for you, maybe um, you're avoiding things with money. Maybe you are um, not pursuing your life purpose with your career and it's painful for you. It's uncomfortable for you. You know, it's, it's just an opportunity to look at that and explore what's there for you. And why aren't you happy? You know, where could you really be loving yourself more? Yay. And I just feel called. I would. I just want to keep. I just want to keep pulling cards. So I'm just gonna keep pulling cards. Oh, that was a good deck, though. That was Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. I hope Jeff and Shalia make an Oracle card deck someday because I love decks and like their divine wisdom through an Oracle card deck. That would be amazing. So all in good time, of course. So I have this other deck that I absolutely love. It's called Everyday Miracles, and it's a quotes. It's quotes from A Course in Miracles. It's like very like bright. <laughs> My room is very yellow. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, I can catch up. Uh, can we do this type of inner work with other card decks? Yes, Kristen. You can pick. You can you can use anything to do your inner work. You can use billboards. You can use like song lyrics. I'm just looking around looking for examples. <laughs> you can use anything. You can use anything to to kickstart your inner work. And that's kind of the fun of it too. Jeff and Shalia use in their classes. Yes, they do. Yeah, I didn't use Oracle cards until I started using or I started watching Twin Flame Ascension School and I watched how Jeff and Shalia used them. Um, that was really powerful. And now I have like 20 Oracle decks. <laughs> Ah, uh, Denisa, cleaning as well. Yes, yes, upgraded cleaning supplies. Yay. I love this community so much. This is everything. Yes, Angela. Amen, sister. Is this everything? Doesn't it feel so good? It just feels so good to do inner work and, like, 
feel your feelings, put on a Twin Flame Ascension School class. It just feels so good. Oh, also shout out to our merch team. I'm wearing my Charlie shirt. Charlie is uh, our mascot for Twin Flame Ascension School. You see him come in all the time. He's so fun and lovable and so sweet. Okay, I think I want to pull like three cards from this, from this deck. So I'm just going to do that. And we're just going to go a little over today because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I can't stop. All right. Oh, every card is like making me do this like, oh, <laughs> face. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. That's so, that's so true. I am. You can wait, delay, paralyze yourself, or reduce your creativity almost to nothing, but you cannot abolish it. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. You can wait. Delay, paralyze yourself, or reduce your creativity almost to nothing. But you cannot abolish it. Yeah, you didn't create yourself. God created you. And God created you perfectly. And exactly how you want to be created. So it's safe to trust your gifts. It's safe to trust what you really want to be doing with your time. It's safe to allow yourself to pursue what you want to pursue. You can wait, you can delay, you can paralyze yourself, you can try to hurt yourself or kill yourself or reduce yourself to almost nothing. You, you, cannot, you can do all of that, right? You have the power of choice, but you can't abolish yourself. You're eternal and you're perfect and it's safe to relax into that. Amen. Ooh, so juicy. Gosh, I don't, I don't think I've ever gotten this card before. It's so good. <laughs> All these cards are so good. Oh, yay. Brienne has this deck. Oh, yay. I love Brienne. If anybody needs dream guidance, Brienne is your girl. She's so good. <laughs> yeah. I give my life to God to guide today. Look how pretty these are. What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom? Mm. That's the best feeling. Sometimes when I'm stressed or in anxious or, you know, feeling, feeling the feelings. Just to surrender and just say, okay, God, I'll do what you want me to do. What do you, what do you want me to do? I'll do it. I give you my mouth. I give you my car. I give you my bed. I give you my job. I give you my voice. I give you everything. What do you want me to do? And it's always like relax, right? It's always just, just chill, just surrender, just give up the anxiety, give up the stress. Oh, and it feels so much better. So, so, so much better. I give my life to God to guide today. So yeah, this is a good mantra you can use whenever you're feeling stressed or anxious. So fun. I love inner work, don't you? Okay, one more, and then I will, and then I'll see you all later. One more, final card. Oh, gosh, these are, I'm just getting the best cards today. It's so juicy. God's will for me is perfect happiness. Mm, it's beautiful. Today I wake with joy, expecting but the happy things of God to come to me. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> God's will for me is perfect happiness. Today I wake with joy, expecting but the happy things of God to come to me. Mm. What a perfect card to end on. God's will for me is perfect happiness. Amen. Beautiful. So you can just see I just did some inner work with myself and I felt really good throughout all of it. It wasn't traumatic. It wasn't scary. It wasn't hurtful. It wasn't abusive. It was really fun and really gentle and really loving. So it's safe to do inner work. It's safe to feel your feelings. It's safe to explore. And uh, it's safe to love yourself. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I'm going to start doing um, the open forum uh, live every Sunday starting today. So I will see you all next week. 
Thank you so much again. Uh, I'm Brianna Manalo. I'm a certified Ascension coach for Twin Flames Universe. I did link in the description. If you haven't gotten your Twin Flames Universe consultation yet, highly recommend you get on that. Um, having my, I got my consultation um, with Brianne actually probably about a year and a month ago now, and it completely changed my life. Just totally launched me, accelerated my Twin Flame journey um, so much more efficiently, so much faster, so much better. Um, so highly recommend you claim your support. You are worth it. God's will for you is perfect happiness. And all you need to do is surrender and let that be the truth. So thank you so much, everyone. I will see you soon. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.